Hello people! I am filming a pretty short um, tutorial slash um, what I think first reactions of a product. I recently ordered the Sigma Brush Spa Cleaning Glove which looks like a giant oven mitt. Kind of looks like the little oven mitt that does the Betty Crocker commercials. You know, the little talking oven mitt. Um, it's actually kind of a creative idea to use. It's like an old-fashioned washboard for your brushes. I um, had filmed a part of this on my actual camera camera and realized that my camera was almost dead. So I have already mixed together one tablespoon of olive oil, one tube of Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Conditioner, and one tube of Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo in the trial size. I'm going to mix those together now using a dirty makeup brush. Just kind of stir it together until it forms a thick paste. You don't want to get the shampoo up into the ferrule of your brush because you don't want any moisture there. It will soften the glue that holds your bristles together and um, that can ruin your brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the brush cleaning system, which, look at that, it says patent pending. Patents are so cool. I happen to know very well a person who went through the patent process, and that is my husband, Mo. It's very difficult to get a patent. You have to do a lot of legwork. This is what the product looks like. It is a silicone glove with a white like fiber glove inside. You stick your hand in it, and depending on what size of brush you have, you can use this side, which is for the bigger items. You just, you just put the cleanser on the brush and scrub it on the bigger bumpy areas that say wash. Then you rinse it on the smaller lined area that says rinse, and then you squeeze it in the refining area, or just above the refining area, which is the thumb. And if you have smaller brushes, you use the smaller bumps on the other side. So, I am going to run some water and film myself cropping this little phone up right here. This will work. Let's see how well an Apple iPhone stands up. Okay, so I've already gotten one brush. I'm going to go ahead and get the glove wet. And I'm going to just kind of scrub. Look at how much dirt is coming out of there. I'm going to get it really wet. And just scrub, scrub, scrub. Wow, it's really removing a lot more makeup than just using my hand does. Now I'm using the part that says rinse. And there's an area over here that says refine, and you can see that it's still removing just a little bit of makeup. So, I am going to come back over here to where it says print, and then you squeeze it in this area with your thumb. Looks pretty good. Now when I'm done with each brush, I have this very strange system of using this little wooden box to prop up my brushes so that they're at a slant and that way turn the water off. that way as they're drying the water 
runs down the brush instead of back up into the ferrule. Um, I have had this Smashbox um, set of brushes for like four years and because I consistently wash them almost every day, kind of like every other day, and I mean really, really wash them. Um, I've managed to keep them in super, super du duper good condition. So I am going to wash the rest of these brushes. And this one's the major dirty one. This is the one I use to buff in my foundation. So I will do that one next. And when I'm all done, I will show you how they turned out and let you know what I think of the glove. So I'm going to just dip this in just a little tiny bit of the shampoo and get the glove wet. I'm going to use the bumpier side. Wow, that's really taking a lot of makeup out of it. My hand's a little small. I feel like this glove is really big on it. But I suppose it needs to be big to have a lot of surface area. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm using relatively hot water to do this. Wow, this really does get pretty clean. I mean, it's just a smidge more shampoo. I'm really, really getting into there. I feel like this is scrubbing a lot more than just my bare hand can do. And I feel like the little bit of shampoo, conditioner, and olive oil mixture is doing a lot more on this glove than just my bare hand. Although using my hand is perfectly adequate, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this probably gets them a little deeper clean. Now I'm using the rinse part and then the refine, which are the smaller bumps here, and then I will squeeze it out. It's a lot wider than it was to start with. So I'm going to finish these brushes and then I'll come back. All done. It normally takes me about 40 minutes to clean all of these brushes um, because I'm doing them by hand and I'm a real germaphobe about putting dirty brushes on my face because it gives me breakouts and it probably gives you breakouts too. So I did all of these brushes in 15 minutes which is a little less than half the time it normally takes me. I still have a lot of my concoction left. Oh, I still have one dirty brush that I forgot. Um, a lot of my concoction is left and I normally have to kind of like scrape the bowl for remnants to clean them all. So I feel like even though I was prepared to hate this product, I feel as though it did a really, really good job. It cut down on time. It saved me product as far as my little cleaning concoction goes. So it saved me time, it saved me product, and I didn't feel like I had the water running as much. Plus, it really, really got my brushes white. This little brush here, it still has a little stain to the tip, but it has not been white like the rest of it. Like here, you can see the color is white in a long, long time. I've had these since last October and they got stained like right after the first use. So I would give it a thumbs up. Um, I wouldn't say it's worth the $39 that I spent to purchase this product. It's really more worth like 
19 or even 29, but 39 is just a whopping big, big price. Um, over the life of my brushes, will I use it? Every single time I will use it and I will feel good about it because my brushes are absolutely perfectly clean and um, maybe I can go a little bit longer than every single day with cleaning my brushes. So that is my opinion of the Sigma Spa Glove and thanks for watching. Bye people!